Do we just have to walk to our kitchen sink and turn on the tap to get some water? We think of it more as like just something that we see every day. I think we take it for granted. But some people around the world have to walk a long way to get water from a river. They think of it as very valuable. My name is Joseph. The event that I created is called Walking Together for Water. I'm trying to build a well in an elementary school in Kenya. I'm not going to be the one that builds it myself. There was one Saturday morning, Joseph was complaining about doing some chores around the house. And I said to him, well, you're pretty lucky. There are many children that have to walk for their water every day. And we decided that as a family, we would walk to the Speed River in Guelph and get some water. Uh, fill our buckets and come back home and see what it's really like if you had to do that every single day. When he asked if people would be willing to help him out with this idea that he had of, of doing something as a class, right away my students were fully on board. It's really inspiring. When I first presented the idea of uh, uh, this walk to them. I wanted them to understand how valuable clean water really is. I wanted to, uh, them to get a better appreciation of how easy life is here in Canada. Now I think I think that they what really understand what drought means and how bad it is. When someone's like complaining about something, they'll say that uh, oh the kids in Rikiao have to wa have to walk uh, 10 kilometers each way to get their water. So you have it really easy. Before I started on this project, like thinking how uh, about how Kenya was so far away, and I heard that there were like a lot of droughts over there, and it was really dry. I didn't really think like there was anything I could do because I thought that's just how it is, and like it can't be fixed, and and that it's so far away that I can't do anything about it. A lot of kids around the world might think that because they're only one person, they can't do a big thing. The grand total of money that I raised was, I think it was $11,365.50. I want to keep this going until this well is built. Small things can turn into big things, and I, I feel like the kids in my class and maybe the kids, all the kids in my school have, have learned that they, even just one person can make a huge difference in the world.